the first question that we have, though, is from Jeannie Wolf, TZN member. Oh, Jeannie Wolf. We've known each other for only 87 years. <laughs> Oh, I can't hear Jeannie. Jeannie, oh, there she is. Okay. Oh. Hey, Drew. Uh, like Adam Sandler says, everyone loves to have you around. They love to have you on your show, on their show. And I, I wish you luck in this. Um, how did you learn to be a good guest? What does it mean to be a good guest? And what are you looking for in a guest? What, 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 make, what would make someone, you get off the air with someone and go, wow, that's what I want. Um, well, first of all, Jeannie, apparently we had the same uh, thoughts about ties and, and accessories today. So I love that we already know we're connected that way. That is a great question because it, there's two parts to it. Uh, one, how did I try to be a good guest? Um, I tried to not... Uh, I was naughty, actually. Me, naughty. Can you believe it? Um, I was naughty because I never wanted to do a pre-interview. Um, I never wanted to know what questions were coming my way. And I didn't want to give, you know, answers like, here's the anecdote and here's why I'm going to hit this. Spontaneity for me was crucial. So I like to go in blind and play because life is just too short not to. So if anyone wants to- at that, but, but uh, besides the playing, what did you learn worked? Being, uh, being spontaneous and being myself and not pretending to be anyone else or try to hit a comedic story, but use the time as if, you know, m my heart, you know, and excitement were on the line, but that I wasn't there to sell something. And I think that's something I always went into this show knowing that if anybody wants to come here and do that, um, I would love it. And I would love to try and give people a refreshing approach if they want. Look, if you want to, if we want to come here and sit and talk, I would love to go in the back door of conversations and talk more about your life experience or your upbringing rather than the thing you're working on now and promoting. I know that's an essential sort of aspect and we'll certainly professionally hit that button. But I love, you know, when like Barbara Walters and Howard Stern interviews people, it's like the journalistic integrity of research and interesting questions and disarming has been something I've always loved as, you know, a, a citizen of the world. Mm -hmm. So I want to have a different approach to conversations, uh, something more casual, something, uh, you know, a little more disarming, but then I'm also like, do you want to come here and play a character you loved being? You own that character. We love it. Come do that. Let's do sketch comedy. Let's try something, you know, completely different. And sometimes that menu of options isn't always there. Um, and yet, you know, there are people, the Fallons of the world and the James Corden, who's, who's, you know, really sort of a, a approach to, to talk shows are, are so limitless, but those tend to be in the evening. So I want to bring that to daytime. I want to have fun. I want to be sunny side up. I want to tackle comedy. Uh, but I definitely am really convinced that all of this work I do on myself is the same thing that everybody else is going through. We are trying to reach enlightenment. We are trying to grow. We are trying to figure things out. We are going through uncomfortable changes in our lives. I want to talk about that stuff. I'm totally into the conversation. So I just would love for it not to be topical and surface, whatever we do. You know, if anybody can pull it off, it's you, Drew. There is no one like you. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Thank That's you, Jimmy. It's so nice to see you.